We've seen children and young adults across the country marching, protesting, and standing up for social injustices. Begs the question, what is it about Generation Z that's making them speak out more than their much older counterparts? I just knew that something really bad was happening and that somebody had to do something about it. I have dreams and hopes and ambitions. Every girl graduating today does. And we have spent our entire lives working towards our future. And without our input and without our consent, our control over that future has been stripped away from us. You, as two 15-year-old teenagers, took on one of the largest corporations in Boston and won. I want them to have more equity. I want them to have to make everything equal because um, we cannot keep living like this. We have seven years before we start reaching critical tipping points. We can go into the streets and yell at elected officials, but we have to call out the system underneath which they are operating in. If they don't do something, then my generation will be at the forefront of facing the negative impacts of it. It was just eerily silent, except for the loud gunshots echoing the hallway. And very shortly after the first gunshots, the loudspeaker was picked up. And very quickly then we learned that it wasn't a drill. The loudspeaker being on only amplified every single noise. And I can still remember the static of the loudspeaker and the click of it being picked up. and. I, it still haunts me to this day. I'm Aiden Tarek, and I got involved in this fight because I realized that it had fallen upon my generation to address the crises facing our future. We want for our lives to stop being used for a political divide, and we cannot back down. We must keep fighting until school children stop having to ask that dreadful question. Am I next? I started the We Are Generation Z podcast because it is more crucial now than it has ever been to highlight the stories of young organizers, leaders, and activists who are fighting for a better world.